Cheers. Cheers. Conversation with King. You know, I'm drinking that Casa Jack Gonez, that good, 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 good tequila. You feel mm. me? Rapposado. No, actually, I'm bugging out. The, the, the Anejo. This is what I'm drinking. The Casa Jack Gonez, Anejo. I just want to say thank you for everybody for joining. Conversation with King tonight. Today is a special show, a random show. I decided to do the show because I read an article today and I realized I realized that we as men, particularly black men, are 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 playing a big part in in ruining our woman. And we need to find out where we need to stop or we need to educate the women who want to know how to identify these things. Uh, or they might say we simping. I don't think we simping. What we doing, we're teaching. Because if you have a daughter, or if you have a niece, you don't want them to go through heartbreaks, right? If you have a mother, you have a sister, you don't want to go through heartbreaks. So with that being said, you know, listen, what we're going to do, we're going to jump right into the topic at hand, and we're going to talk about um, the things that men purposely do to women to ruin their life, and how can we detect it? Um, to most people, we might seem like simps trying to stop men game from gaming our woman, but it's not about sense. It's letting you know that we as a community need to actually respect our woman. We need to appreciate our woman and we need to revere our woman and we need to really start having real holistic family structures, whatever that configuration is for you. I don't know. But whatever it is, it needs to be complete. And we need to stop um, wasting people's time. I don't waste people's time. I tell women what I want. If she doesn't want to buy by it, she can go someplace else. And this is, I want a woman to tell me what she wants. I don't want to waste your time. I did too many years of counseling. Um, even today, I had to talk to a therapist today because trying to figure out what we, what we talked about yesterday about me, about every woman that leaves me feel some type of resentment, right? And it maybe was me because I, don't, I didn't care about closure. And my therapist told me today, the reason why you have issues when you leave the ladies in your life because you are so dedicated, data, dedicated to the future, right? You always build it. I never stopped building. From when I was doing the camp, political campaign to traveling the world, um, to going to certain schools, I'm always building. So I don't have time to to explain something that you should already know, which is can be considered selfish, but I'm always dedicated to the future. Um, and what happens is, you know, we need to we you we need to know who we are, and find someone that that is aligned with those beliefs, and not have these issues. Like E. Black is a Christian. He he will, he he shouldn't be unevenly yoked with someone that's not a Christian, because it's going to lead to confrontation and issues and resentment. Right. But whether you're Christian, Muslim, Buddhist or whatever you are, polygamist, well, I don't care. You need to make sure that you are not misleading the woman out here. Because what you're doing, you, 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 you're, you're, you're tearing her down and you, you, you are stopping her from living a life that she deserves. And like Natalie says, protecting women is not being a simp. I'm really I'm really tough. Right. And when I say tough, not mean I'm going to go and spray the block up and all that. I'm really a protector. And I don't want anybody misusing women. Now, I'm not going to lie in my past. You know, um, I wasn't the best guy in the world. But what happens is, you know, as you grow older, you realize you have to grow into and do manly things. And manly things is being righteous in regards to treating women All the gangsters I know all the warriors I know, all the freedom fighters I know were respectful to women. You just can't be respected to your grandma and your daughter and then treat your lady like she ain't worth anything. Thanks for watching. This is Conversation with King. Please join us for the next live discussion.